Hey guys, welcome into Chicago Bears Now. Harrison Graham here from my house. I'm actually about to go tee it up. We're having a little chat sports open today. Uh, everybody getting uh, this Friday off before football season really ramps up. But hey, even on days like today, there is news to get to, especially when there's breaking news. And that's what we've got today. This training camp update from Hallis Hall coming your way from my office here. Uh, Lucas Patrick, who left pa practice yesterday, uh, as you guys know, broke that down on yesterday's video uh, with an apparent injury. We now know what that injury is. It is a right hand injury, and he is expected to have surgery on it. This according to Brad Biggs of the Chicago Tribune. Uh, Lucas Patrick expected to require surgery on his right hand. This early in training camp, there is likely optimism he will be available sooner rather than later, but perhaps before the season opener. So a little bittersweet here, right? Uh, let's talk about the bad before the good. Like when someone comes to me and says, you want good news or bad news first? I always say bad news. Get that out of the way. So we'll go on that side of things. Bad news. You lose an offensive lineman before the pads even go on at training camp. Obviously not ideal, especially your new center that you prioritize in free agency. you got to build that center quarterback uh, relationship with Justin Fields. Hopefully those two guys have gotten enough, you know, even though without pads, reps during the offseason where they at least feel comfortable with each other with the snap count and all of that stuff. Um, so that's obviously not ideal. The sweet side of it is it's not a major leg injury. Um, you know, it's uh, Ryan Jensen's going to be out for months. He may not play this year, uh, the Bucks center. So, I mean, you dodge that. Uh, so, you know, if, if it's true that he has to have a procedure and should or could be ready by the opener, you could it could have been worse, right? Uh, every team almost loses somebody uh, to a significant injury during camp. This does not appear to be that, luckily. Uh, so that is the positive here that, uh, yes, it sucks he got an injury, but uh, it's at least uh, a positive that uh, it doesn't sound like it's going to be, you know, season ending or something like that. Uh, I'm sure there will be more info later today. Uh, be uh, Follow me on Twitter if anything else notable drops at HGRAM NFL. So what do you guys think? Uh, what is your one word reaction to Lucas Patrick's hand injury? Let me know down in the comments. This will be the pinned comment on today's video. Scroll on down there during this YouTube ad break and reply right there. Okay, my one word reaction is bittersweet. I mean, I've already used the word, right? Uh, it's not ideal. Um, even for a shorter term injury, you would have rather it happen to someone else just because I think that center position is crucial uh, after Justin Fields goes from Sam Mustafer last year, who I think we need to talk about in a second, uh, to now Lucas Patrick this year. But again, I'll just reiterate it. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. So let's talk about what it means, right? Uh, obviously the timetable you're hoping he's ready for week one, which is five, six weeks away. Uh, probably won't play in the preseason, I would guess at this point. Uh, if it's a standard hand injury, I would guess four to six weeks is probably uh, about right there. So I do think there's a good chance he'll be back week one. So who's next in line? Well, yesterday it was Doug Kramer, the rookie out of Illinois, the center, uh, who uh, the Bears drafted, I believe, in the sixth round. Uh, it all gets muddied together. They drafted all those dudes in the fifth, sixth, and seventh. Uh, I believe sixth round, though. Um, he stepped in there yesterday first when Patrick went down, which I thought was somewhat notable. Uh, I thought that would be the case, uh, but I didn't know. Oh, maybe they'll plug Mustafer back in there. Kind of one of those deals where Kramer's the backup on the depth chart, but Mustafer with his experience of... Uh, Patrick gets hurt, maybe he would slide over, especially now that they've signed Michael Schofield, who will likely start at right guard. But that was not the case. Mustafer was getting work at right guard, and uh, Kramer stepped in at center. I'm not seeing any of the Bears beat reporters today uh, talk about anybody stepping in there. So hard to say um, what that is going to look like, uh, but I would have to guess uh, that uh, it is uh, going to be Doug Kramer uh, who gets this opportunity and hey what an opportunity right sixth round pick local kid gets a chance uh, to work with the ones at center if that ends up being the case so uh, that is certainly an opportunity for him what does it mean for Sam Mustafer I think all this means is that unless Mustafer just beats out Schofield at right guard which could happen who knows uh, but I think Schofield will start I think he's on the roster bubble, man. I, I think he's really got his work cut out for him. If he's not in the mix at center, which maybe he is, we'll find out soon enough. Um, but if he's not, um, I mean, if he doesn't get a starting job at right guard, 
Are you keeping him as a backup, uh, you know, interior lineman over a guy like Jatiri Carter, who you just drafted? I guess it's possible, but the point remaining is this is a big camp for Sam Mustaver. I don't think there's any doubt about that as we move forward. While Lucas Patrick is out, who would you give the center reps to? Would you give them to Doug Kramer? If so, type DK. Or Sam Mustaver, type SM. Hell, Cody Whitehair, if you want, type CW. I don't think you're going to put him at left guard, but if you want to, you could go that route as well. DK for Doug Kramer, uh, or you can type SM for Sam Mustaver. Again, please subscribe to the channel, bringing you a video from home. A little training camp update before the Chat Sports Open, which, by the way, follow me on Instagram at HGramNFL. Follow Chat Sports at Chat Sports. We'll probably have some Instagram story stuff going on over there, so go check that out. Should be a fun day out there uh, at the golf course. Um, I want to get you a few other notes that are emerging from practice that just started at 10. Uh, I won't have a full practice breakdown because uh, uh, I am about to take off, but uh, a couple of things. One, Tevin Jenkins not at practice again, it doesn't look like. Uh, Matt Eber flu said on radio yesterday uh, i think the score it was uh, i can't remember which station i, I uh it's not, i think it was the score in chicago that uh he woke up with something doesn't sound serious he said but um i don't know if that means illness or a little tweak not sure um maybe we'll hear more about that later today uh nicholas moriano C- chgo sports i uh, just tweeted and uh, by the way i enjoy their work uh if you guys haven't checked them out, you should do so. He also just tweeted, Cody Whitehair just joined the rest of the offensive linemen. Doesn't have his helmet. Looks like he isn't practicing either. Could be a vet stay off. Third straight practice. He's been around for a while. That could be the case. Bears have another practice tomorrow before an off day on Sunday. So an opportunity uh, to get him two days off in a three-day stretch. That could make sense for a guy uh, who's uh, one of the bigger uh, uh, you know, vets uh, in camp. I think that's probably what that is. Uh, I, I don't think there's any uh, injury situation there, but didn't want to bring you that. I, I'm way more concerned about Tevin Jenkins at this point uh, than Cody Whitehair. We know what Cody Whitehair can be. Yeah, he had a down year last year, but you're hoping he bounces back and is at least average, right? Uh, I think if Cody Whitehair's average to above average at left guard, we'd be fine with that. Uh, Tevin Jenkins. I mean, as the days go on here, his chances of starting just continue to dwindle, in my opinion. Um, You hope when the pads come on, he can get out there and show what he can do. First padded practice is on Tuesday, but I I don't feel optimistic uh, to the start of this camp for Tevin Jenkins. So uh, we will continue to monitor uh, what is happening there. So that's kind of all I have right now, guys. Uh, Obviously, they're practicing uh, right now. Apparently, the defensive line just did something crazy. They're all celebrating. Well, all the starting O linemen appear to be out just about. So uh, that could be the reason for that. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Lucas Patrick, again, to circle back to the news, uh, looks like he's going to require hand surgery, uh, according to Brad Biggs. Uh, Hopefully he is back before week one. Uh, That is kind of the latest that we have there. All right. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you soon. And hey, wish me good luck. Uh, Like this video if you want me to win the chat sports open. We got two teams of four. So should be a fun time out there. All right. We'll talk to you soon here on Bears Now.